Hello everyone, so I'm going to show you how to create a bootable USB drive and I'm going to create a bootable USB drive with Windows and I'm going to be using the free software that is Rufus. I will leave a link under the video. So on the Rufus website, you need to scroll down to the download section and this is the latest version so I'm just gonna click on it and download it it's an exe file so I already have it here on my desktop I also have the Windows 10 ISO file and if I right click this and go to properties the size of the ISO file is 5.78 gigs. So I'm going to click on the Rufus CXE file here. Click yes to open. So on the device, I am using a 16 gig USB drive. It's already detected here. So on the boot selection, I'm going to leave it at this so ISO image. I will click on select, click on the ISO file, image option, I'm going to leave it at standard Windows installation. On the partition scheme, there's GPT and MBR. If I am using like an older computer and I want to use legacy mode, I will have to select MBR but I'm using uh, GPT mode and it's set at UEFI now these also have to be configured in the BIOS of your computer the volume label you can change this I'm just gonna type Windows 10 I'll leave the file system at NTFS and you want to make sure quick format is selected here and when I'm ready all I have to do is click on start it gives a warning that all the data on my USB drive will be deleted I'll click OK and it's creating that bootable USB it's going to take a few minutes for this to be completed so it is completed and it gives you a message here that you must disable secure boot so I'm gonna close that I'm gonna close and now when I open my computer here this is the USB and all the Windows 10 files are here so this USB is bootable now and I will test it so this is the bootable USB drive that was created I'm gonna test it on this Dell computer First, I'll go into the BIOS. Click Enter. So this is the Dell BIOS. So this is the boot sequence and as you can see this is the USB drive it's already detected and so the boot list option is set at UEFI now this is secure boot and secure boot is disabled so 
So I'm going to exit the BIOS and boot with the USB. So I'm hitting the F12 key on the keyboard. So I'm just going to go to the USB. So this is the USB sand disk. I'm going to hit enter on the keyboard. So it's booting up. So the USB successfully booted. So I thank you for watching. I hope this video was helpful to you and I ask you to subscribe.